The 2024 Olympics kick off tomorrow in Paris. The last time the City of Love played host was a century ago when an athlete from Central Illinois went for gold twice. Now the U of I is celebrating Harold Osborne's life and legacy ahead of the Games. WCI3's Jack Crum is with us. Jack, what's happening on campus? Karina, the university welcomed back two of Osborne's daughters to give a web seminar about their father this morning. They say he's a reminder that humble beginnings can lead to global success. With this 100th anniversary coming up of his Olympics, it was the right time to toot his horn, which we did. 100 years ago, a 25-year-old from Butler, Illinois, ran on the track in Paris at the 1924 Olympics. Two years before that, he graduated from the U of I. Now, Harold Osborne's daughters are bringing his lengthy accomplishments to light. We did a webinar for the university uh, talking about my dad, his career, uh, in athletics and also about his life and his time here at the University of Illinois. Osborne earned his awards for a generational performance on the track. In the 24 Olympics, he got gold medals in both the high jump and the decathlon, and he's the only man to have ever done that. No one else has competed in the same Olympics and gotten the decathlon in another event. The family previously donated their father's memorabilia to the U of I archives in 2022, including his two gold medals, they're generic. You don't, yeah. you don't know what they were awarded for, but this explains what you got it for. Olympic jersey and more from games in 1924 and 28. Osborne's youngest daughter, Susan, says their connections to the area made it the obvious choice. I felt like the university was the place that we should donate those items. Um, and then I kind of campaigned in the family that that's where they should be because especially in an archives where they really want to preserve the items and make them available to anyone in the future who wants to do research. Also in the archives is Osborne's personal training journal with new entries and locations spanning through 1945. In his book, he has every exhibition and every track meet and how many points he scored and how high he jumped. And um, it's really amazing that he kept all those records. His training exhibitions took him everywhere from across central Illinois to across the pond in England. Now, on the eve of the Games, Elizabeth and Susan's two nephews, Osborne's grandsons, made the trip out to Paris wearing these shirts. A reminder that even small-town athletes like Harold can strive for gold. They're all going to be over there wearing these t-shirts, so hopefully someone will... You know, some journalist will say, oh, what are, you know, what are you all about? And then someone else will hear the story of our father. The family tells me they discussed sending his memorabilia to the International Olympic Museum in Switzerland and the Track and Field Hall of Fame. But they wanted to keep their father's spikes and jersey on the campus where he trained. Karina. What a cool story, Jack. Thanks so much.